My topic is correlation between Hounsfield units of the thyroid gland on a single non-contrast CT scan and thyroid function tests. So our aim was to uh, determine the functional status of the thyroid gland on a plain CT scan. And this we achieved by correlating the HU values of the thyroid on a plain CT scan with the thyroid function test. So iodine is an essential element required for synthesis of thyroid hormones and because of incorporation of iodine uh, in the thyroid hormones, the thyroid gland has a high attenuation on a plain CT scan. So thyroid gland secretes T3, T4 and calcitonin and the secretion of thyroid hormone is regulated by TSH which is secreted by the anterior pituitary. There are no studies currently uh, in the literature that correlate this uh, the HU of thyroid on a plain CT scan with T3 and T4 levels. So our study was a cross-sectional observational study conducted over a course of 18 months with 300 as the sample size. We included all the other patients who underwent CT scan for any indication but in the scan the neck was covered. So various CT scans like HRCT chest, cerebral angiogram, cervical spine and we included those patients who had their recent thyroid function test done within the last six weeks which were either normal or abnormal. We excluded those patients who had received iodine, iodinated contrast in the previous three months and those who were not willing to give consent for the study. So all the scans were done on a 64 slice Philips CT scanner and soft tissue images were reconstructed with a soft tissue kernel and 1 mm slice thickness. So we drew ROI in the right lobe, the isthmus and the left lobe of the thyroid gland and then we calculated the mean HU value of all these three ROI and that was the mean HU value we took into consideration for a given patient. So these were the results. So this is a compound bar graph showing the age and uh, gender distribution in our sample. So most of the patients were in uh, this age group 20 to 30 and 30 to 40. And this is the compound bar graph showing the thyroid functional status. So about 50% of the patients in our study sample were euthyroid, 41 were hypothyroid and 9% were hyperthyroid. So this is the male and female frequency distribution. This is an example. So on the left is a 51 year old woman with hypothyroidism and this is a 47 year old woman with hyperthyroidism. So you can see in hypothyroidism the mean HU value on a plain CT is very less while in hyperthyroidism it is very high. In hypo it almost approaches the, uh, the attenuation of the muscle. So after analysis in our uh, study sample, the mean HU of the hypothyroid population was 73, of the hyperthyroid population was 146 and euthyroid was 113. So the normal range that we calculated for 95% of sample population was 92 to 133. So in our study population we found that below the cutoff value of 92, the patients were hypothyroid and above 133, they were hyperthyroid. Then we analyzed the data with scattered plots. So this is an example. So on the uh, x-axis you have the thyroid HU values and on the y-axis you have the T3 values. So there is some correlation. So this is an example of a scatter plot and we calculated such uh, uh, we drew such scatter plots for various hormones in, in various thyroid functional status and we calculated the Pearson's correlation coefficient. So this was the result. So this is uh, in youth thyroid patient correlation with T3, T4, TSH. This is in hypothyroid patient T3, T4, TSH and this is in hyperthyroid patient T3, T4, TSH. So we found a very strong positive correlation with T3 in hypo and hyperthyroid patients and a weakly positive correlation with T3 in youth thyroid patient. In all the three categories of patients, you have a negative correlation with TSH and T4 showed weakly positive correlation in hypo and hyperthyroid population and a moderately positive correlation in euthyroid population. So thyroid 
disorders are an important group of endocrine disorders, especially in a country like India. And uh, about one third of the world resides in iodine deficient areas. So on a plain uh, CT scan, thyroid is homogeneous and hyperindinating with a high H value because of its high iodine content. There was a study conducted by Pandey et al. Uh, in which they did correlation between the thyroid CT density and serum TSH levels. However, this was not done in an in Indian population and this was uh, and they didn't take into account T3, T4 uh, in that study. Our study shows a positive correlation between the HU values of the thyroid on a non contrast CT with T3 T4 levels and it shows a negative correlation with TSH levels. So, in conclusion, there is a positive correlation with T3 T4 level and a negative correlation with TSH levels of the HU value of the thyroid gland on a plain CT. So, in some clinical uh, cases, this HCT HU values will alert the treating physician to take a call on evaluating thyroid functions. These are my differences. Thank you.